Hey Mark here. Uh, today we're going to look at the diagnosis of the Cytophila species found in grain storage areas in Australia, uh, the Pengrenarius, Arise and Z maize. I'm going to use some of the tools that are, uh, from the Plant Biosecurity Toolbox on Paddle, uh, namely the, um, the length of the specimen, the punctures on the pronotum, and on the elytra, the structure and the colour. So the tools I'm going to use are these um, USB microscopes and wireless microscope, a scale bar, some tools to manipulate the specimen with, and uh, a blue background to, to get some better colour differentiation. Uh, the other thing that I've found useful is a piece of scored foam rubber, and um, this makes it easy to get a dorsal view of the, of the specimen. I'll get the specimens out of the uh, ethanol and I'll blot them on the back of a post-it note here. Uh, you really do need the uh, specimens to be dry to get uh, get some proper colour, um, proper view of the colour. So the first uh, specimen I'll look at is uh, Cytophilus granarius. Uh, it's a reddish brown colour and they're usually three to five millimetres long. Uh, these ones here I can sort of measure out on the screen at um, around about 3.7 millimetres. So uh, size is a pretty good differentiator for Cytophilus granarius, but the other two species, Arise and Seamaze, can be fairly similar in size. Uh, the smallest is, is usually a risey, and um, yep, yeah, that uh, usually comes in at 2.3 to 3.5 mils. Um, yep, yeah, these specimens here are all under 3 millimetres. Uh, Z-maze is a little bit larger than a risey on average, uh, and also has a, a slightly different uh, colour patterns on the elytra, if you have a look at them on, on uh, lateral view. So comparing the three of them, uh, Granarius is a fairly uniform colour, whereas both Z-Maze and Arise have uh, these, these spots on the uh, corners of the elytra. And um, yeah, just having a look at some other specimens here, in Z-Maze, the spots tend to be a little bit, uh, a little bit brighter, uh, a bit more yellow than, than in Arise. Uh, one thing to note is that the background colour can have a, a, marked, uh, a marked effect on, um, on the colours that you see. So here's a different background, and uh, the colours of the beetles change as, as the colour adjusts in the microscope. Uh, also, the, the um, type of microscope you're using can be quite different uh, in the in the colours that they uh, display. Next, we're going to compare Granarius with the Arise Z Maze complex, uh, having a look at the structures on the um, pronotum and the elytra. On the pronotum of Z Maze, you can see that the punctures are very close together, uh, whereas they, they're quite uh, far apart on on Granarius. Also on Z Maze there are four spots in each of the corner and the same with Arise will have these four spots as well. Uh, Granarius on the other hand is um, much more even in colour. Having a closer look at the uh, pronotum of Z Maze uh, we can see the punctures are very much rounded and they're almost running into each other um, and um, yes yeah, quite dense across the pronotum. For Granarius, on the other hand, uh, you see quite a lot of uh, bald areas around the pronotum, and the punctures are definitely elongated. Uh, having a look at the, at the elytra, here's Z maze, and you can see that uh, there's some narrow ridges running down the, uh, the wing covers, and also uh, dimpled punctures in the, um, in the elytra. Comparing this to Cytophilus granarius, we see that the ridges have small uh, punctures on them, and the ridges and uh, grooves are around about equally equally spaced. Uh, so this gives a lot uh, more of a, an even shinier colour to, to Cytophilus granarius that uh, you can pick up even under under low power. Right now, the more difficult one to compare is uh, Cytophilus C maze and Cytophilus arise. So we have C maze on the left. Uh, you notice that the four uh, the four spots on the elytra are a little bit brighter, whereas uh, in arise uh, they're a little bit more blurred, giving a, almost a, a sort of crossed effect going down there. So having a look at the pronotum, uh, C maze on the left, the punctures are sort of fairly circular. Uh, they're very close together and there aren't many bald areas that uh, that you can see. In Z maze there are generally more than 20 punctures heading up the middle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 compared to Cytophilus arise where there are usually fewer than uh, fewer than 20 so counting up the middle here we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, maybe 20 spots. Uh, you also notice that uh, down the central line of the pronotum that there is a, a area that's clear of punctures and that is uh, supposedly a, a common feature of uh, Cetophilus arisei, although uh, in several of the specimens that I've, I've looked at, um, this hasn't been apparent. So we'll just have a look through a few more specimens uh, just to get a bit of an idea of the sort of variation between the, the species and within the species. Uh, I'll just let this play through and uh, leave you to have a look at them. So you can see that there is quite a bit of variation there. Some specimens are easy to identify and others are a little bit more difficult. So what we're going to do now is to have a short test. We've got uh, five different uh, representatives of each species and we'll leave it to you to try and identify them just by looking over the uh, scans through the, through the microscope. There are some answers at the end. So here are the answers coming up now, and if there are any that you get wrong, uh, please go back and have a look to see where you might have made a mistake. 
and uh, see if you can do better a second time around. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.